Hi, my name is Tom Campbell. I'm the Dean of the Lipscomb University College of Pharmacy. And with me today is Dr. Zach Cox, Associate Professor of Pharmacy Practice and also Clinical Pharmacy Specialist at Vanderbilt University Medical Center. Dr. Cox, a lot has been in news lately, a lot of information and even misinformation about the coronavirus. I was wondering if you might could give us a little update on what is the latest with this, uh, with this health issue. Sure, thank you. Yeah, and coronaviruses are a part of a large family of viruses uh, that are in humans and animals, and they usually call, cause very mild respiratory illnesses. Most people have been exposed to a coronavirus before and have written it off as sort of a common cold with runny nose, uh, feeling unwell, upper respiratory type of symptoms. And usually, um, once you get exposed to the coronavirus, you start to develop symptoms sometimes within two or 14 days after exposure, which is key when we start talking about quarantines and things like that, because many people are infected before they start to develop symptoms and realize it. What makes this coronavirus novel uh, is uh, a couple of things. One is the genetic makeup of this virus. The genome has now been uploaded into the NIH genetic sequence database, GenBank, uh, and very early results of analysis uh, indicate that this is a resequencing of the common coronaviruses, taking some components from animal reservoirs, um, and then it also has some genetic similarities to the SARS coronavirus, which caused the SARS um, um, global health concern in 2004. So what really makes a novel virus a global concern is, is really three things. Uh, first is the ability to transmit uh, from human to human. Uh, and we saw this uh, in 2009 with the swine flu, as it was first called, but then the novel H1N1 influenza outbreak. That was a virus that came from a pig animal source, had resequencing, and then was able to be transmitted from animals to humans and then from humans to humans. And so human to human transition, uh, transmission is really important for global health concern. And there's evidence that the current novel coronavirus can do this now. This is usually transmitted via respiratory droplets, but can also be anything close contact, including touch. Uh, second thing that makes a novel virus highly concerning is the severity of the illness that it causes. So this novel coronavirus is not only causing in some people mild cold-like, symptoms, but is now um, high in severity, even causing uh, death in some cases. And the third thing that makes it a global health concern is the lack of availability of antiviral treatments or vaccines to present it, uh, prevent it, although these are being worked on now. And so uh, currently there are no specific treatments uh, or treatment strategies that are known yet. All the care is being supported for people, but hopefully with the genetic sequencing, uh, some of those will begin to emerge, either vaccines or antiviral treatments. And so what healthcare providers can do now uh, is when people have symptoms that look similar to this, fever, shortness of breath, cough, those sorts of things, ask them about recent travel exposures, check to see if that fits with either the recent information on the provinces in China that have been uh, linked to having active cases or people who have recently traveled there. And if that does fit, you need to immediately put that person in contact isolation and contact the CDC. They have an emergency operations center and they are currently the only place that can do the diagnostic testing for this. And then also globally advise against external or travel that's not essential to areas that have been linked to this virus activity. Uh, for more updated information, we always refer people to cdc.gov uh, where they can get up to the date information. All right. Well, thank you, Dr. Cox, for that information. And also one very, very important thing, as in the cold and flu season, continue to wash your hands and make sure you're practicing good hygiene. Thank you.